Hey guys, Deb and I are about to tackle our biggest design and decorating dilemma yet. This all needs to go. Hello, new extension all the way through. I think, you know, with a, a few changes in the interiors, this yes. could be a beautiful space, but I think this all needs to go. Like this part of the house needs to run out that way. Okay, okay. what's with this flooring? It's very red. I don't know what kind of material that is. Is it bamboo? I have a feeling um, they tried to use an excavator to get the floor up. Look at all their marks. <laughs> It could do with some opening up and lightening and brightening down here. It's mm. a good size space. There's not much else going for you it. You could definitely flip this and do something. I'm really excited to see the downstairs area demolished. Mm. It was actually really unused, but that's really going to change because we have a beautiful new kitchen living area going in downstairs, the master bedroom's moving, and we're going to be able to take in all of the natural surroundings and create a, a lovely flow from indoors to outdoors. I'm driving through the Gold Coast hinterland. There's the Gold Coast right there. It's absolutely stunning. I'm on my way to Michelle's house. I have a car full of samples. I'm so excited to show her what we've got in store for her house. We have had extreme weather up here on the Gold Coast. I'm not exactly sure what it has affected in the house, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what's happening. I know there's mud everywhere, which is gonna be fun with white shoes. But yeah, let's go and check it out. So Michelle, today I was really lucky to be able to swing by ABI Interiors down in Burley and I've grabbed some samples from them. What we've done is we've repeated, see the beautiful flecks of gold through yeah, the stone here. So what we're trying to do is, is bring the repetition of this gorgeous gold colour in through the stone in our kitchen as well. And the brushed finish on the brushed brass, it just softens the space and it works back so well with all the matte finishes we've used in everything else. Yeah, I think it's going to look really amazing. We're here in Michelle and Ross's ensuite, and this space threw us lots of challenges. It's been a little bit of a headache, actually. Originally, we had a shower in here beside us, and it was way too small. So we had to really think on our feet. We pushed the wall out in the bath area. So now the bathtub's in here, and we've added double showers to this space, and that left us with lots of storage space. So we're going to have a vanity unit here, one here and here, and the toilet is tucked around the corner here, so it's nice and private. We are in Michelle and Ross's bedroom, and this wall here that the bed will be against is literally in the ground. It's built into the earth. So we couldn't add a window here, and some of the challenges with this space was there wasn't much natural light getting in. So to overcome that, we're opening up to this part of the room. We've added a steel support and taken out a strut to be able to put in beautiful big opening doors out to that incredible view. Big doors opening in. What a lovely grand entrance. And then you've got Ross's space over here, which will yep. work really well for him yeah. because you have those custom built doors you can close off any mess that's mm -hmm. there. Yes. And then you've got so much room over this side yourself. And then coming down through here, Michelle, when you open those doors up and you're looking down through to your bathtub, I think that view will just be spectacular. Bedroom, this. let's see. Oh my goodness. How good is this space? Main bedroom. I love it. Storage both sides. We've got robes. Walk-in robes. I'm loving it. Loving this carpet it. is such so a good colour. Soft, plush. Yeah. I do. love the colour. In 
the master bedroom, we used Luxaflex Duet Blockout Blinds. They provide privacy and keep the room dark, while the S-Wave Sheer Curtains allow beautiful filtered light to fill the entire room. When Michelle gets home from a hard day at work, mm. she needs a place to relax. Absolutely. Her downstairs ensuite will become like a refuge, somewhere to escape the chaos of busy family life. Mm. She can take a quiet moment in that beautiful bath with some bubbles and the view out the window. Oh, that view. We also wanted to use an Australian made company and bring in those wood tones with timberline vanities. Maintaining the earthy and natural theme throughout this beautifully designed home. We wanted it to feel like a spa, so we chose a neutral palette with earthy tones and that Pompeii tile from Beaumont Tiles. It has a stone effect, it would be at home in any bathroom, no matter what the style. On the next episode, you'll see us rework the kitchen, living and dining space. We're taking the kitchen from upstairs to downstairs and transforming the entire area. Don't miss out guys, tune in.